In this video now we are going to study about jobs method which is also known as continuous variation method to determine the decomposition of the complex compounds. In this method following steps are involved. At first metal ion and ligand solutions of same concentrations are prepared. Secondly they are mixed in such a way that total concentration and volume remains constant as shown in the following table. On doing so concentration terms simply change into number of moles and we can show the relation between concentrations of metal ion and ligand solutions by the equation Cl plus Cm equals C here Cl indicates the concentration that means number of moles of ligand. Here Cm indicates the concentration that means number of moles of metal ion and C indicates the total concentration or total number of moles of metal ion and ligand. If all the terms in the equation 1 are divided by total concentration C, all the terms change into molar fractions. Here X represents the mole fraction of ligand and 1 minus X represents the mole fraction of metal ion. The formula of the complex compounds is generally represented as MLN here N indicates the ratio of concentration of ligand to the concentration of the metal ion. As discussed earlier on following the first two methods concentration terms change into the moles or mole fractions so now we can replace concentration terms with the mole fractions on doing so we get the equation to that as n is equal to x upon 1 minus x. Now optical densities for the solutions prepared by mixing metal ion and ligand solutions are determined by using spectrophotometer and a graph is drawn for optical density or absorbance against the, the mole fractions of the ligand. The mole fraction of ligand at which maximum absorbance or optical density is observed is determined the by extrapolating the legs of the curve. By substituting this value in the equation 2 small n value can be calculated which in turn reveals the formula of the complex compound. Now we discuss about the limitations of this method. First limitation is that, this method is applicable only when one complex compound is formed between metal ion and ligand. Second limitation is that, this method is applicable only when there is no change in the volume when metal ion and ligand solutions are mixed. 